Well, I've come out here to show you something in the garden, but this boy is hungry and I know he's gonna be super loud while I'm trying to record. So we're gonna feed him a bottle real quick and give Miss Persimmon some grain. You guys following me? They are following me because they know that I'm about to get some grain and throw some out to them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well. There we go. Milk all over me. Formula on my hands. Let's see if we can get him a his little milk mustache um but i'm gonna get out of here now i don't want him sucking air so even though the garden is a mess right now i wanted to show you guys what we are doing new in the garden um so last year our entire garden was in ground well this ground is not working for us so we decided to kind of revamp the whole garden and we're not done yet but i kind of wanted to show you the process i also wanted to show you a couple things that you can affordably do in the garden to really get the highest yield possible if you have kind of crappy ground like we do. So let me turn you around and show you what we're working with so far. So here is a big area right here. This is actually covered with a tarp because we battled weeds so bad. Um, last year you can see the turkey and the chickens followed me in here's our rv so we are right next to the garden um, i'm actually standing in a tarped area and it has holes cut out because this was our melon patch last year and this will be our melon patch this year this is staying in ground for the most part i'll have to show you where that goes kind of later on right now um you can see this is tarped but this is what we're working on right now so this is a raised bed we're making and this actually can be pretty affordable making this raised bed like this um and i'll tell you how and i'll also tell you what i paid for these pieces of stuff so i kind of wanted to show you this really cool thing that lowe's has um i'm sure home depot has it too or kind of your um, hardware store. But as you can see, everything was in ground last year. So these are rows. We're using these for herbs. And then we're making this really long row um, raised bed for our tomatoes. You can see the trellises we left kind of where they were. And we're using the existing trellises. So let me stop digging. They all followed me in here. So I decided I needed to stop and show you guys how easy this is to put in. It's ridiculous. Don't mind the big tarp. I had to pull that back to do all this. And I did have some help. I didn't do all this by myself, but it is totally possible. Um, let me show you how easy it is. all the materials for this raised bed at Lowe's and so what we bought were these oh, raised bed blocks and we bought wood now wood is expensive I know wood is expensive um so I actually looked online at Lowe's and found the wood we wanted which was a cedar um you don't want to do pine or anything like that because pine is going to rot really fast Cedar is actually gonna hold up for quite some time. And so we got these cedar planks. Now I looked online to make sure my local Lowe's had them. Um, and they did, and they said um, for these 
um, two by eights that they were $10 and 40 cents a piece. And I'm thinking that's a really good price. I felt like that was a really good price. So we got there and actually the price on this wood was $33 per board. And I about threw up. <laughs> um, so I went to customer service and I said, are these the same boards? And they're like, yes. Um, and I said, well, online it says that they are $10.40 a piece and here it says $33 a piece. I had their store input correctly. It was their store <laughs> and um, they went ahead and honored the price, which I'm shocked. But for instance, if you cannot get wood like that, um, I called around to lumber places first before we went to Lowe's and before I checked Lowe's and you can actually get rough cut cedar like this the two by eights um, for about $13. That's what it was around us. Now you may not be doing as big a bed as us. Um, and if you're doing a smaller bed, it's even gonna be more affordable. This whole bed cost us about, if I'm not mistaken, about $300, maybe a little bit over, um, which I actually split with my mom because this is, we, can, we share this garden together because we kind of run the homestead or the farm together. So it was very affordable. Even if you weren't splitting it, a bed this size, which is about um, 35 feet long and two foot wide, roughly, um, that is a big, big raised bed for $300. Um, so I thought that was a great deal. And then these blocks, Oh, they're so heavy. <laughs> they're so heavy. Uh, these blocks were $3.38 a piece, I believe, and that was included in that a um, little over $300. But I also had to buy rebar, and that is to hold these blocks down. So these blocks were actually, um, you know, they're meant to do stuff like this with. So all you have to do to build this raised bed is... As you can see, I have a block. I have, this is mostly put together. Um, it's not completely even, um, like, but I did not want to be digging around or anything. Um, so a, a, a couple of them aren't quite level and that's okay. It still works. They kind of just go together and most of the bed is put together and it's working out just fine. So you put your blocks down and then what you do next, um, is just to get it where you want it in place you need to put this rebar these blocks have a hole in the center of them you need to put this rebar in and make sure it's long enough because you want it to go deep enough into the ground that it actually holds <laughs> um pretty steady i guess i could not find the sledgehammer but i have a hammer and it'll work i think the ground is soft enough so I'm just putting that down in to stabilize it a little bit right now. It's not near deep enough right now in the ground. Now, I was reading about these and I think they suggest only stacking them too high. All I've ever done was too high. So um, we, we're just sticking with that. We don't need a super deep raised bed and it, it actually puts us at about 12 inches high, which is perfect because we have ground underneath that plants can go into as well. So what I'm gonna do, you can now, you can just stack these and then put the rebar in, but I'm just gonna put this other black on top so they're lined up together. I'm gonna take this rebar almost all the way down to that hole. So I leave a little bit sticking out of the top. Um, I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> um, so you space these apart from the next set of blocks so your wood piece of wood will fit in. So let me show you how easy these go in. These just slide in to one another and you have a raised bed. So let me grab a piece of wood. All right, so I think I've got these lined up pretty well. Um, so what I'm gonna do, we already have that bottom board in. So that bottom board's already in there and we are. this is gonna be our second level. And it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit. And then just slides in. That easy. <laughs> I mean, it is so simple. And all I have to do next is go down to the next row, put that block in, and then put a piece of wood in.
And as you can see, it is that easy. I still have this corner to do and I'm done. I wanted to let you guys know that from this block right here all the way down and then down to this one I think is where we started. It was me and my mom doing it or me and my husband. I can't remember now. I think it was me and my mom and my husband was cutting wood for us. But uh, it took us 15 minutes. 15. That is it. Now, my husband was cutting wood for us for the end pieces because those have to be shorter unless you're doing a super big raised bed but I mean you can't beat that sorry my neighbor's dogs just bark 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 um but yeah let's look at it from this end oh these stumps when my dad and husband were cutting down trees we asked them for good stumps sitting stumps in the garden <laughs> now you may look at this and be like that's not perfectly straight. I'm okay with that. It's it's pretty close. You can get like a string line out here or whatever you call it and use that. We kind of eyeballed it roughly. Here's an end piece that was a little wonky. We could have just stopped the bed right there and come over here and started again. But then I would have had to pull out this cattle panel. So my husband just cut some wood. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, it is so easy and... I'm super excited about it. Now, it didn't take any time. It was pretty affordable. I have a, a more affordable option for you, though. <laughs> it was pretty affordable, super easy to put together. Um, if you don't have a way to cut wood for your ends, I think Lowe's will do it for you. I think. Um, so, yeah, just kind of go get your measurements, see where you want it, and... Look how they fit in here. I mean, I might have been able to get this one tighter, but I mean, it's not going anywhere. We got, so this is a foot high. These two blocks together are foot high. And we got three foot rebar um, to put down the hole. And then it'll, it gives us two feet in the ground to help stabilize everything. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited about it. And I thought, hey, I'm gonna share it with you guys. Um, you know, if you needed a type of affordable option for raised beds, that was super easy. Um, now let's take a look at an even more affordable option, especially if you're dealing with a smaller space. I don't even know where this came from, but we're using it as a little raised bed for herbs. <laughs> I don't know how long it'll last, but. All right, sitting stump for my coffee. Um, this is not <laughs> my next affordable option. I'm just showing you what else we kind of have in here. So this was like a rusty old wheelbarrow. I think my mom and dad found. Um, it already kind of had holes in the bottom for drainage. We're going to use this for flowers or herbs. And then these old hog feeders um, have like these um, like inner black inner lining that we need to drill holes in. And I think we're going to put herbs in here as well but kind of just using what we have. And then down here in that little cutout, we'll put some dirt, drill some holes, and maybe put flowers or something like that. This one over here actually just kind of has comp stuff that we were gonna compost in it, but we might be using that one as well. But turning around here, if you have not searched, or if you have, if you have looked at some raised beds to buy, they can get pretty pricey like $100 and up for like pretty small raised beds. Well, I wanna show you what I found. I'm gonna link it down below, but please don't buy all of them because I need some more. <laughs> but these four by eight raised beds, they're like a, you know, just this metal type. They have a support in the middle. Sorry, I have these T-posts laying on them. <laughs> um, that's just so they don't get lost in the, in the mulch and stuff but four by eight really good size it's wider than this one by two feet and it's only eight foot long um so we have two here i have another one in the shop to put together and then we want to order two more for over here so um our entire garden this year is not going to be raised beds but we're trying to get a lot of it as raised beds 
So the only thing about these so far is that there's like 70 screws <laughs> to put this together. Um, I asked my dad and husband to do it because I really didn't want to. But since we're, I have another one to put together and then I want to order two more, I'm sure they're going to be tired of me asking and I'll have to put those together. But anyway, um, so you can see here, I did, we did put some cardboard underneath them, um, which I didn't do over here in the big raised bed, but that is just kind of like a weed barrier and that'll break down and, um, it'll be fine. The roots will be able to get through it eventually. And so as you can see, we have this about halfway filled up with kind of some old dirt from pots. We have leaves in here. You can't see it, but there are like some sticks and small logs in here. And that is because, um, I don't want to fill all this whole thing up with compost. So to save money, we're filling it with stuff we already have here. Um, let me take you over to the other one because we just barely started filling that one up. So we're doing stuff like this in the bottom. So that's just like bark, um, sticks, stuff like that. And uh, that's gonna break down eventually and be compost itself. So we just kind of do a thin layer of the sticks and stuff like that. And then we'll do leaves. You don't want too thick of a layer of leaves because they can act as a weed barrier too. Um, but they will eventually break down. You can see a stick sticking out there. <laughs> um, but that just helps save you a little bit of money whenever you're filling your beds. I have my work cut out for me. Uh, filling these raised beds, especially because I want three more in here. Um, so let's talk about price. I bought, my mom bought one, I bought one. We bought these for $50 a piece. Now, I went back to buy that third one I have in the shop. And I followed the link that I had purchased it from last and it said unavailable. And I was so bummed because they're so affordable, 50 bucks. I mean, that's not that bad, especially if you only need one or two um, to get you through this year for garden season. So I went searching around to try to find something else um, that was comparable because I really did not want to spend $100 on just one of those. And I ended up finding one. I'll link it down below. If that one ever goes unavailable and I find another one, I'll try to link the new one down below. But the new one I found, and it looks exactly like those. Um, it was $59.99 on Amazon. And I think it had prime shipping. Um, I don't know if that's the same for everybody or not, but um, so 60 bucks for one. And I feel like that is super affordable, especially if you have a small space and only need one. <laughs> Um, because you can buy one of those and then kind of um, supplement with other things like that wheelbarrow I have over there or just any other pots, even like five gallon buckets. Um, so I just start slow. Like I said, it's kind of easier for me to kind of go on a bigger scale this year because I'm splitting it with somebody. Um, so maybe find a neighbor or a family member if they're wanting to grow a garden but don't have the space maybe they'll split the cost of that raised bed with you and you can both grow in it something like that um i just i'm lucky enough to have someone i'm kind of splitting these costs with so i can buy multiple at once and it not cost quite as much anyway i feel like these are super affordable and i really wanted to share them with you guys because everybody should be able to garden if you're especially if your ground is kind of awful like ours is I mean it's just like pure clay stuff grew but it grew very slowly and produced very little I mean compared to what I've grown in the past so I've actually used this method before and I loved it um so we decided to go with that stuff for the tomatoes because we knew we wanted a long tomato row this stuff we have it all mapped out and i'll do a video on it later where everything's going but i kind of wanted to give you an update on where we're at in the garden um how we're kind of um updating the garden i guess you could say and i'm excited to show you guys like how everything how everything <laughs> progresses as we get more and more in here um, I still got to fill these. That's going to be a lot of shoveling. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for it. I'll get my tan early this year, shoveling compost and dirt into these raised beds. 
But if you guys do get one of these, let me know. Or if you have any other affordable options for raised beds, leave them down in the comments to give other others ideas um, on what they might be able to use. All right, I hope this kind of um, motivated you to get into um, thinking about your garden because now is the time. I mean, it's really close. I've already started pepper seeds. Um, I, I'll take you along to start tomato seeds. Anyway, I hope this kind of got you motivated to like really start thinking about and get started on your garden um, for this year because it is close. I mean, the time is here. Um, anyway, I will keep you guys updated on the progress of everything and um, I will see y'all next time. Bye.